everyone, it's Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me for another card making video tutorial here at the Tonic Studios blog. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to do some layered stamping with the bunched bouquet stamp set from Tonic along with the Nouveau Hybrid ink pads. Without further ado, let's get started on this card. I'm starting out with a piece of white cardstock. This is the Craft Perfect Ultra Smooth White Paper. And then I'm going to position these flower stamps on this cardstock. So these are the roses from the Bunch Bouquet stamp set from Tonic. And I am using a stamp platform to stamp these images since it's easy to line them up and then stamp them all at once. First, I'm inking up the two solid roses using Pink Sherbet Nouveau Hybrid ink. These tiny ink pads actually come in packs of three. Um, so for this card, I used the Rose Garden Hybrid ink pad set and the Tropical Fruits Hybrid ink pad set. So for my second layer of these roses, I am going to use the darkest color. In this case, this color is called Panama Rose. So whenever you're doing some layered stamping, you want to stamp your first solid layer with a light ink pad. And then for the second layer to add the detail, um, you want to use a darker, darker color. I'm going to do some masking, so I just stamped these two solid flowers on some masking paper using the soft uh, pink ink pads. It doesn't matter which ink you use. If you don't have any masking paper, then don't worry about it. You can also use just some copy paper or you could also use a post-it note, whatever works best for you. When you're going to be doing the masking technique, you want to make sure that you stamp the images you want to be on the front first and then you can use your mask to cover that up and then when you'll be stamping your other image it will look like it's in the background. So in this case I am now inking up the stem and the leaves for these roses. For my first layer, the solid layer, I used the Lime Burst ink pads from the uh, Nouveau Hybrid collection. And then for the second layer, I am using Dried Oregano. So this is the darkest shade of the two colors. For my sentiment, I am using a sentiment stamp from the 18th Tonic Craft Kit. And as you can see, I store these stamps and dies from the Tonic Craft Kits in the binder, which makes it really easy to flip through everything. And that way you'll also have a really good overview on all of the stamps and dies you already own. I decided to stamp the sentiment that says for someone special. I stamped it using the Black Shadow Nouveau Hybrid ink. And then I actually decided I wanted to add some gloss to the sentiment, but since I already stamped it, I just decided to stamp over that using the Clear Mark Nouveau embossing pad and then sprinkle on some Nouveau Clear embossing powder. So this is a great way to um, heat emboss sentiments if you don't have any black embossing powder. So you can just stamp it in black, then stamp over that with an embossing pad and then sprinkle on the clear embossing powder. And you could do that for every single color out there. I just found this scrap of pattern paper. This is a lovely black and white striped pattern paper and I decided to use it on this card. I'm adhering it using my Nouveau Adhesive Tape Runner and I actually am working with a card that measures 4 inch by 5 and a quarter of an inch. So it's a little bit smaller than a standard size A2 card. I'm also going to add some sparkle to this card using some Craft Perfect Gold Dust Glitter card and I am adhering that using my, ton uh, using my Nouveau Adhesive Tape Runner as well. To add some dimension, I am using the Craft Perfect Dimensional Foam Pads. These are the 25mm pads 
and I really like to use these because they are so sticky and they are just great to um, adhere your finished pieces onto a note card. So there you go. Next, it's time to finish up this card. And to do that, I'm using some Nouveau drops. I'm using the Honey Gold glitter drops over here. Then I'm also going to use the White Blizzard glitter drops. And then finally, I'll be using the Sherbert Shimmer Drops, which is a beautiful sparkly pink color. So as you can see, I decided to go with a pink, gold, uh, white and black color scheme for this card. So that finishes up this card. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you very soon. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.